I'm gonna go through some really simple exercises for your lower back and also to stretch out around your pelvis. So your gluteals, your buttock muscles, your hamstrings and your hip flexors. They all become quite tight if we're sat for too long or certainly if we're doing a bit too much in the garden, they can become quite tight and restricted. So we need to stretch them out just so that they can work as effectively, effectively and efficiently as possible. The first thing that we'll do is mobilizations for the lower back. This is a really gentle mobilization, so I'm not too concerned about anybody trying this one. However, the other exercises, just drop me a message if you've got any ongoing lower back problems. Um, I don't really want you trying something new if we've not gone through it before, if you've got an ongoing issue through the lower back. Certainly some of these can make disc issues feel a lot worse, so just err on the side of caution with this one. Uh, but this one's a nice one that most people can do. Of course, if you get any pain, then please stop. Knee sways. So, lie on your back in bed or on the floor. Knees are together, feet are together. And you're just letting your knees rock from side to side. Imagine a clock face, 10 o'clock to two o'clock. Really simple and easy. You can turn it into a knee hug. So bring one, two knees in, hug them in towards yourself. Again, you can do some little sways here if you want to. It massages your lower back really simple you can do these as much as you want really so we now want to stretch things out a tiny bit so that the muscles can move the joints properly we will start with our hip flexor stretches so we're going to kneeling hip flexors are the the muscles right at the front of the hip they attach here go through our bodies onto our lower back so when we're sat they're really contracting we want to stretch them out so that they don't pull on the lower back. Really easy way of doing this. Kneeling, one foot forward, lunge into it. Keep your body in alignment, body upright. You can still see your toes when you look down. Deepen the stretch by taking one arm up. You should feel stretch all the way down that one side. And then you would do it on the other side also. So that's a really nice hip flexor stretch. We also need to do our hamstrings. They're the muscles at the back of our legs. They attach onto our pelvis, it's still important for lower backs. Have one leg bent, the other leg resting out straight over the top of it. Lean forward as though you're gonna to touch your toes. I have very short legs, so I can touch my toes quite easily. Some of you might struggle with that one, which is fine. Just try and go as far as you can. It is a big pull on your lower back though, so just be really, really careful. Hold it for about 30 seconds. All of these are about 30 seconds. You should feel the muscle relax and then you would do it on the other side. If you want more of an intense stretch for the hamstring, you can lie onto your back and use a resistance band. You can use a towel as well if you roll it up. Resistance bands are fab though because you can really feel what's going on. Hook it under the base of your foot, lie back, straighten your leg out, point your toes towards yourself. You'll get a really good hamstring stretch here. Turn your toes in, turn them out. Take your leg across yourself, take them all the way out to the side. It's just a really nice mobilization. You would then do it on the other side as well, just so that you've evened things out. So that's a hamstring stretch as well. Be careful with that one. Glute stretch, buttock stretch. Two ways that we can do this. The easy way is this way. Still lying on your back, cross one leg over the other, pull it in towards yourself and you get a really, really nice stretch into the glute muscle. If you want to increase it more, bring both your legs up at the same time whilst you're doing it. Repeat on the other side. Or the more intense way of doing it is a pigeon stretch. So this is stolen from yoga. You do have to be quite bendy with this one, so just be careful with it. Give it a try if you want to. On all fours, bring one knee towards your chest, bring that foot through, straighten the other leg out, and lower yourself down you can either stay upright like that or if you can come down onto your forearms lower your forehead down onto the mat and again you want to hold that for about 30 seconds repeat it on the other side a yoga hamstring stretch is downward facing dog again quite an intense one so be careful with it on your hands and knees still take them a bit further away from yourself you're then tucking, making sure your toes are tucked under and then you're pushing your bottom up and back. You want to try and get your heels down towards the mat. If you can't, just walk your heels up and down and you'll get a really good stretch. 
As I said, just be super, super careful with this one. If you're feeling it in your lower back, come out of it straight away. So that's downward facing dog. They're really simple, easy exercises that you can try at home just to free off your lower back. If it's feeling extra creaky and sturdy, you can do some gentle back bends. That's a really nice way if you've been digging and weeding and things. Gently, just doing some mobilizations. It's a bit like a cobra stretch. That's quite a nice one that you can do. Vary it all. You can do those daily. As I said, any pain, stop instantly. If you're unsure whether I would recommend these to you, please just drop me a message and we can have a chat about which exercises I think that you should be doing. Otherwise, have a go with them, see how they are, see if you feel a bit more stretched out and a little less creaky in your lower back. But otherwise, keep, keep safe, keep well, keep indoors, and I will see you next week.